good morning and uh, congratulations sir on the day of the seafair today 25th june and i am with uh, shri amitabh kumar the director general of shipping and additional secretary to the government of india sir thank you for your time and uh, for this very very brief interview uh, by the shipmax star uh, india's uh, one and only audio visual interactive magazine sir uh, i have been seeing you for some time now and to be very frank sir you are very well known now for your calm and composure you know so where does this come from if you can just tell us a little bit into your childhood is this a value or uh, because i've seen you in you know like uh, when you're corresponding and when you're uh, talking and when you're communicating with people you so there's a bit of so much of calmness and composure in your face See, it's all a series of uh, events, learnings, uh, emulation, emulating uh, those you have grown up with. I was not always very calm, <laughs> but a series of events happen in life that that just teach you that there is no point fretting and fuming about. issues that are beyond your control i worked in the ministry of home affairs for 7 years where i dealt with uh, the union territory of delhi and those were the days where terrorism was at its peak delhi suffered from terrorist activities from kashmir to sri lanka punjab north east and its ramifications were seen in delhi those days it was a tough assignment at that point of time and it needed a lot of your time in office uh, many of the activities were to be done immediately and the amount of work was absolutely beyond your control i had a joint secretary who said once that uh, it is better that you accept this challenge and the sooner you accept it in your mind the better it is for you <laughs> because work is not going anywhere so right and that was one thing that uh, i have always kept in my mind that uh, your efficiency declines if you waste your time in fretting and fuming because if there is a work it needs to be done and uh, needs to be done immediately uh, without wasting uh, your time for other activities i have kept that in mind and maybe that has come yeah, it doesn't uh, bother me if the volume of work in in fact sir that is exactly what my next question was in fact uh, you have a, such a huge portfolio you have to do so many things so is it how do you prioritize what is your mantra at work i am not a very religious person but i believe in uh, one basic uh, shloka from the uh, gita karmanya vadi kaste that is my religion uh, i think god sends you for a particular purpose the work that it assigns you is your duty to the mankind and that is what i tend to do i i love my work I like to accomplish something in the in the work environment, and uh, that keeps me going. In fact, sir, uh, the, the general uh, atmosphere when you took over as the director general of shipping, the people were very happy. You know, in the sense that there was a lot of happiness and a lot of contentment and satisfaction. That you know, I have personally spoken to a lot of people who said, "Okay, now you know, now it's coming up, now it's coming." A lot of new changes are happening now in the retail of shipping. People are uh, in the offices embrace new changes and new technological development. How do you see? Where do? You, where are you taking us? How how do you see us in the next five years in shipping industry? I think uh, uh, it is a sense of relief for them because they had seen changes in last three to four years. they knew that uh, the directorate general is moving in the right direction maybe after a very long time uh, that this movement had started 
and in me they were seeing continuity of those policies maybe a little uh, push for uh, faster implementation because people have been seeing me for last three, three and a half years they know my views they know that I am pro change that uh, I want to introduce e-governance in the directorate general and uh, I think by and large they were glad that the, yes. the, that the policy continuity will, uh, will be there. So one thing I am I'm, I'm speaking really on behalf of all the students who have come out of the colleges now and we receive a lot of calls from students that there is not enough jobs. How is the employment, unemployment of the students increasing or what is exactly is the situation now for the, how do we employ all the people, all the students who are coming out of the colleges? Uh, the statistics uh, say otherwise. The job for students, the job in general for seafarers, so far as Indian seafarers are concerned, uh, has increased consistently in the last uh, four years. In fact, we have we had one lakh eight thousand jobs in 2013. We now have two lakh eight thousand jobs in 2018. The onboard ship training uh, slots have increased and they have increased by around 20%, which uh, is a huge accomplishment for uh, the Indian maritime sector because we all know that shipping as, uh, as an industry has faced several challenges yes, over yes. the last eight years. And despite those challenging situations elsewhere, we have managed to increase our, uh, our job our percentage of, uh, of the total uh, job worldwide, uh, that uh, is, a, is a good uh, indicator that we are moving, actually moving in the right direction. And we have actually taken jobs from other nationalities in the last four years. That's great. Sir, uh, IMO has dedicated this year to the women in shipping. And all around the world, a lot of uh, events on uh, diversity and inclusion is happening. India, I, I suppose, is also doing a lot of things in the industry to invite more and more women to come in and join the Merchant Navy as well as uh, training is going on. Uh, what is your view, sir? Uh, what steps uh, is the administration taking, taking to uh, uplift the numbers of women in our industry? See, women consist of about 49 to 50% of our population. They are doing brilliantly academically. But as per ILO report, women represent only 2% of the world uh, maritime workforce. Though their percentage is a little higher in the cruise industry. The industries who have adopted to gender diversity have seen that women bring new talent, uh, new expertise uh, in the workforce. And because of their empathy, because of their emotional quotient, because of their leadership uh, capabilities, the industries have seen increase in their productivity. Maritime industry is facing a huge challenge because it has not been able to either attract women in their workforce or even when the women have, um, have come above all the societal biases and joined the industry, the industry has not been able to retain them. So we have a huge challenge in hand if we need, if we want to bring in gender, uh, gender diversity and we want to increase our own productivity and bring in more human element in the maritime industry, then we have to adapt to the needs of women on board and on shore. And the new policy initiatives that you will see is going to make it easier for women to work on board to take care of their small requirements uh, so that uh, they are accepted on board, they have a peer group on board, 
they have uh, uh, you know emotional support on board and their small uh, problems that they face will uh, is taken care of so today uh, we will be launching a small uh, website for women wow that's great where women can uh, can share their experiences on board and if they have faced any problems then we would like to solve those problems uh, sitting so it's like a helpline it will be a helpline but it will also protect the privacy of the women so we will uh, we will not disclose the names and other details of the women and we would also like to use this feedback as uh, a feedback for policy initiatives and if we feel that some uh, policy intervention is needed in the maritime sector then this feedback will be used for looking at that so that you should say i think this initiative is going to go a long way in inspiring women to come out with their feelings and also motivate the others uh, to build a cohesive environment for diversity and inclusion It's great, sir. Congratulations. Now we come to a very interesting part of this interview, uh, sir. We have compiled a sort of a rapid uh, fire round, okay. and these are uh, questions which uh, you need to very, very, in very, very short sentences you need to just answer this. So here it comes, sir. Uh, what is the best advice you have received in your life? I just mentioned. Yes, you have just mentioned. Uh, it's a part, uh, part of your answer. You have already mentioned. If you have to describe yourself in three words. Or less, what would that be? A very simple person. A very simple person. Wow. <laughs> what is your favorite movie? Ah, it's at some point of time, yeah. I used to like love uh, Amitabh Bachchan's uh, Amar Akbar Anthony, Satte Pe Satta, <laughs> Shole. <laughs> Things, uh, movies with uh, you know some fun element. Uh, okay. So if you have. If you had all the money in the world, what would you want to buy? My needs are very limited. <laughs> money really doesn't mean much for me. <laughs> <laughs> But if if you have to buy something, okay, I love like cars. Okay. If, yeah. So maybe a Lamborghini or something. Oh, I don't <laughs> think of that huge. <laughs> so, <laughs> so night or day? Night mostly. Yes. Sweet. Or sour, sour. I don't like sweets. What annoys you most? So you must be in your uh, work, sir. You must be meeting a lot of annoying people. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what annoys you most? People who are not sincere. Sincerity. Yeah. Okay. If you have your own yacht, what would you like to name it? I don't think uh, I'm going to have one. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I have named my house Ali. Alek. Yeah. What is the meaning of Alek? Alek. Uh, Alek is basically. Is it a Sanskrit word? Story. Oh, okay. So, but uh, it 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 is a combination of my name and my wife's name. So oh, okay. She is Lekha and I am Amita. So. Oh, you are Amita and she is Lekha. Yeah, fantastic. So I think I will continue with that name. So, sir, if you are asked to teach any subject, what is the subject close to your heart? What would you like to teach? I love sociology. Sociology, and I think uh, you know the way the way society has developed over a period of time has a lot to teach uh, us uh, when we plan for the future. I think all policy initiatives of the government should keep the society in mind, and that's a great topic. Yeah, sociology is one subject that I love. Maybe in my spare time, I'll be a little more of it. If you have to change one thing about yourself, change about yourself, just one thing, what would that be? Uh, it's uh, hard to say. It's too late for me to change <laughs> substantially. <laughs> But personally, I don't think so. It's uh, I mean, anybody can change at any point of time. But, uh, Maybe become more assertive. Okay. You want to become more assertive, and. Uh, What is your biggest strength? I'm listening to people. Listening to people. I mean, that's a huge, that's a huge, huge value, sir. I mean, people out there are more, more, more about talking, less of listening. 
I think listening is a very important uh, part of communication and uh, every management school teaches you that yes. but uh, very few people actually practice that. Uh, yeah, people forget to practice that at times. So one last question before we end this session and uh, what would your message be to the person who wants to, to the new newcomer who wants to join the merchant team? Any, any message from you? See, have a very realistic uh, expectation. Merchant Navy is an exceptional uh, profession. It's, it's a dream job for many. It uh, gives you a lot of things that other jobs don't get. Uh, you get paid very well, you get to travel a lot, uh, you get to wear uniform, uh, you are well uh, respected in the society. But at time, society's expectation from you is a bit too high. Your family's expectation from you is a bit too high. And uh, you get carried uh, because of the expectations from the family. And when you really join the job, you see the job profile, you realize that uh, the job profile is a little different from the society expectation. So when you join, be very clear, clear about the job profile of Merchant Navy, what you expect on board, what you expect on shore, what to expect in terms of your support system on board, what to expect from the support system on shore, and then take a very uniform, uh, informed uh, decision. I'm sure if you manage your expectations well, this is the job for you. Sir, thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough for, I think this, these words are going to be a lot of inspiration for for the newcomers who want, want to join uh, the, and also for their families uh, who want their children to join, take up Merchant Navy as a profession. We were with uh, Sri Amitabh Kumar, uh, the Director General of Shipping Government of India and sir, from all of us at Shipmark Star as well as on behalf of all the seafarers today, congratulations again on the International Day for the seafarers and thank you so much sir for your time and uh, we are really honored uh, that you are uh, sitting in this chair and as Director General of Shipping and I I can see that the shipping will just really prosper and uh, we will all be proud under uh, your command and your leadership.